The Brazilian construction giant Odebrecht will pay the world's largest ever anti-corruption settlement. An investigation by the U.S. Department of Justice says the company paid $800 million in bribes in a dozen countries. Those bribes helped the firm get contracts and other benefits worth at least $3 billion. But Odebrecht isn't contesting the charges and agreed to pay $4.5 billion to authorities in the U.S., Switzerland and Brazil. But the company could end up paying even more. Ecuador and Colombia have launched separate inquiries against Odebrecht. Peru's president, as well as an opposition leader in Venezuela, are also demanding details about bribes paid in their countries. Well, for more on this, I'm joined now by Fabiano Angelico. He's a senior consultant to Transparency International's Brazil program. Many thanks for joining us. Um, first of all, this is a huge political scandal in Brazil, isn't it? Odebrecht executives who've testified recently are now saying that they made illegal do donations to former President Dilma Rousseff, uh, and that could, I'm guessing, cause serious problems for her successor, the current president. Yes, uh, the, the Brazilian authorities uh, have been investigating uh, the, the bribery cases uh, for for more than two years now, and uh, yes, we've we've been living this uh, political crisis since then, and uh, it may have impact here in, in domestic politics. Once the current uh, president is the vice president who was elected uh, together with the former president Dilma Rousseff. Will this scandal be the scandal to oust him from power, do you think? Pardon? Will this scandal potentially oust Tamer from power? Uh, yes, there is, there is a, a huge risk because it's not only him uh, that um, may be involved, but uh, most of his close allies and the, his political party and uh, perhaps dozens of congressmen uh, who are uh, who are uh, his allies in Congress also. So it may bring a huge impact to, uh, in my country, yes. Now, how far will this Odebrecht scandal go, do you think, in actually putting an end to Brazil's widespread corruption problems? Are you seeing any real changes so far, if, if, if at all? Well, I hope uh, that uh, once we understand uh, with more details um, how it uh, it happened, uh, we will be able to close the loopholes, and uh, and potentially we we can we can prevent this to happen again. But it's important to notice that uh, uh, authorities from other countries and the government from other countries, especially in Latin American region, uh, they must act as well. So I think we have a great opportunity in order to reform uh, the relationship between the private sector and governments uh, in Latin America. So we have a good chance, of course, but this, uh, this will need political leadership. So Indeed. Fabiano Angelico, thanks very much for joining us.